new year uh, starts, so does the new and appropriate direction for DLAC. We are an advisory and support committee, and we will be doing just that. With the completion of soon to be implemented master plan for EL studies, DLAC is anxious and ready to do its part. Our parents are looking to identify our role in ensuring a smooth and successful rollout and eventual full implementation of the master plan. DLAC members will be encouraging all parents to volunteer in classrooms, schoolyards, kitchens, food service, anywhere that our school sites and students and staff and administrators need assistance in educating and securing the safety of our students, school sites, and staff. DLAC will also promote attendance of activities such as sporting and academic events. DLAC itself will be more accessible and involved in other areas concerning our students. Our action committee will be partaking not only in board committee meetings, but also will be at CAC meetings, equity advisory team meetings, and all. And we invite all of those committees to our DLAC meetings as well. The issue of disproportionality being designated uh, a disproportionality district is a concern to DLAC, the sense of excessive and perhaps unnecessary disciplinary action towards African American and Hispanic students is a, a very deep concern for DLAC and we will follow up on that issue uh, as, as it progresses through the uh, process. We hope that uh, all of the, uh, the board members will be attending our meetings and, and be available to DLAC members. Establishing a, a channel of communication to provide clear and transparent information between the board, the district staff, and DLAC members is a uh, joint venture, and it's a two-way street. It has to be from DLAC and from the district and board as well. We, of course, extend ourselves to our board members, superintendent, and to district staff. Thank you. Thank you. Can I ask a question? Sure. So just from the this board and this district, what, what help do you need? What can we do to best support you? Well, uh, information. For instance, the disproportionality uh, designation is a very disturbing uh, designation, of course, and uh, it doesn't seem like too many uh, district members, staff, or even board members are aware of it. Uh, we were not aware of it. Why is DLAC wasn't uh, uh, counseled on this or, or asked to partake in the appropriate steps to, to uh, be released from that designation? Uh, DLAC wants to and should be involved in any uh, uh, diverse, diverse uh, actions concerning our students. That is, the, that is the design of DLAC, is to advise and support the community uh, of diversity that we have within our students, which is a growing population. And so therefore, uh, the main thing is the flow of information back and forth. That is critical and key to any organization that wants to deal with other outside organizations or even within its own organization. Uh, this is a district organization. <coughs> we don't have the information that we need to act on. How do we know to support you if we don't know what the issues are until we find out by other means? And then uh, by that point, it's already reached a, a level of, uh, of distrust and, uh, and therefore uh, sometimes even a lack of interest. And one of the nice parts of Mr. De Trinidad spent all last year on the EL task force, <coughs> attending all the meetings. He's been a very engaged parent, and now coming in as president of the District English Language Advisory Committee, is really trying to reach out and make it a viable organization. And at a time when we're just taking on that EL master plan, it's huge. So I really appreciate your energy, and I also appreciate about him is he thinks outside the box. He has great ideas and he's not just sort of boxed into what, he looks at what could happen. And that's what I hope we can build off of. Thank you. Answer, but also, uh, DLAC and its members, uh, I, I, I do not stand alone. These right. ideas that the concerns are from the whole membership. So I think that idea of crossing over, I mean, C, the CAC does that very well, sending out members and cross, Oh, crossing over into other committees for information is an excellent one. So we look forward to that this year. <coughs> Thank you. Okay, and next would be Annie. 